Hello guys and gals, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering how we can make a, a flickering light, like something you see in a horror game, uh, just kind of following on from the whole Resident Evil camera thing. I uh, kind of just want to see if we can do a couple more spooky things for you. So, got the example ready for you here. You see it's just going to flicker the light on and off at somewhat random intervals. Sometimes it's a little slower, sometimes a little bit quicker. You can see we get this nice randomized light flickering. So let's do it. Let's delete this guy. Right click, blueprint class, actor. We'll call him flicker underscore BP. Open him up, add component. I know I've got to give him a light of some sort. I'm going to give him a point light. I just like working with point lights a little bit. When I'm doing lighting work, I tend to stick with point lights while I'm testing stuff out. Uh, it's just a personal preference. Use whatever light you, you want to uh, work with. We're going to head into the event graph. We don't need overlap. We don't need tick. We just need event begin play. From here, what we're going to need is a retriggerable delay because we're going to want to be able to do this more than once. Next, we're going to need a random float in range. Now the reason we're picking in range rather than just random float is because we want to give this a limit. Now we don't want this to happen immediately ever, so we're actually going to put a minimum of 0.2 into there. Maximum, maybe sometimes we want it to be a little bit longer, so we'll put 2. Plug this into the duration. On the left hand side we're going to grab our point light, click this out, drag out from the point light, and set visible. Mm, pardon me, toggle visibility. Not set. We don't want to set it. If we set it, we have to keep track of it manually. This way, it will keep track of it itself. So after the retriggerable delay is completed, we toggle the visibility. Now if we just pull this down here, we're going to create some lovely spaghetti and plug the end of the toggle visibility back into the start of the retriggerable delay. We'll get this lovely little eight symbol or hourglass or whatever. Tangled cables, but who cares? Drag this guy into the level. Up and down, press play, and now we've got our nice re-triggering flickered light. Now obviously if you wanted to make this flicker a little bit more, we can lower down the delay to perhaps a maximum of 0.5, and this will make it really flickery. As you can see there. But what if we want even more control? Well, in the random float from range, right click the minimum, promote to variable, right click the maximum, promote to variable. Then we're going to name these min, oh, little rogue K stuck on the end there, and we'll call this one max. We'll compile those, make these variables public, but we're going to give these some, well, they already have the default values because we promoted them to variables. There we go. Make them public, and now if we were to create another light out here, we another light, we can say minimum of this one, we want it to wait one second before it toggles, but we want it to toggle just a quick flicker at 1.1. Now you can see how we can quickly make some uh, much faster uh, modular flickered lights here. Maybe we want this to be even quicker. Maybe we want 0.1 and 0.2. There we go. All depends on what you want. <laughs> so have a little bit of a play around. You can still do the uh, the usual things with these lights. We can head into the actual light itself and say we want to give this a color. We can change this here. What if we wanted to make this color editable outside? Why not? Let's let's really go into this. So we've got these flickering red lights now. Let's open this up. I wasn't planning to do this right now, but we'll do it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the construction script, pull out the point light, set light, set light color, and plug this in to the the construction script. New light color, promote this to a variable, call this 
light color. Expose it, compile. Now by default this is going to be black, so these are both going to be showing black. We're going to select these guys, and you can see now we've got these light color here. We can set these colors to whatever we wanted. So maybe this one's going to be green, and this guy here is going to be blue. Oh, if I float into purple, I'm going to get purple. There we are. Just a little bit more custom. Disco! Don't disco. It's not good for your health. Stay indoors, kids. Anyway. Hope you guys are going to find this uh, this useful. That blue one's really distracted me. Made it too quick. Um, yeah, hope you guys have found this useful. Hopefully you'll be able to use this somewhere in your projects. Uh, have fun with this and see you next time.